In this video, I will talk about Kama Billiard's new contract and why Kaiser Chiefs are extending it. And we'll also talk about Itu Melenkune's new role and potentially leaving Kaiser Chiefs. Hello and welcome to Kosi Nation Fan TV. I am Pelo, I am your host. This is where fans meet and talk about Kaiser Chiefs. I'm a Kusi Football Club. Right. Let's jump right into this. People have been talking a lot about Kama Billiard because. We've seen Kama Uguti, he has kind of recovered and is now training, doing individual sessions because he's on his way back to recovery. Some are even hoping that he's available for the Sueto Derby, which I think it's highly unlikely, but, well, you never know. These things happen. Now, what has happened, though, is that there are talks Uguti Kama Piliat will be given a short-term contract. Talks are Uguti, the contract will be one year long. It's a short-term contract. And obviously, a lot of people will get mad. Why has this, has this happened? Because, Mao, if you're calculating Kama's salary over the past five years, people come up with figures like 60 million rents. But you cannot say he's, he was not worth that much money when he came to Chiefs. He was worth that much money because he had been performing well with St. Townsie and then Chiefs got him and then they are paying him this much money. But the question is, why would Chiefs extend contractor Kama who is injury prone and who is also old? Well, I have the answer. Few answers, actually. I think the first reason is that Ukama, you can talk about the fact that he is injury prone and stuff like that. But when he is available, when he is fit, then he's going to give you something in the team. Especially if you now surround him with better players. We know Uguti, over the past three, four seasons when Ukama was at Chiefs, there wasn't really quality enough. It was always like individual brilliance. You see Ukama coming up with individual brilliance and scoring goals or someone else, Unukovic, in his season. It was just Nukovic, Nukovic, and then he disappeared. No one else was able to take over from them. So with more players being better in the team, it's also easier for the other player to contribute because if Kama is contributing seven goals per season and then Dol is doing seven and then Dupri is doing ten, you know, good now the goals are being spread and then all of a sudden you can see good team, there is impact. But if you are depending on one player and then they only score seven goals per season, then you're like, ah, this is an average player. They are not good enough. But we do come up in there. It's just going to help with the quality in our team. And the second thing is that Veleg, knowing Ugutu Kama is injury prone, having a lot of players in your bench as well who are still quality enough is still helpful to the team because you look at our bench right now. We've always been, I've always been com complained about this. I look at our bench and I'm like, who can come on and change the game? But now, if you have come on the bench, you still have that person that you can look at the bench and say, okay, if I bring on this person, he can come on and change. He can come in and change the game. Not let the Sibuga on Jigaman good ish. Maybe can try so and so. Right now, we're not saying so and so can change the game. We are saying maybe they can do better, but. We were not really in that position. The third point is that Caleb is not doing the things that he's supposed to do. And because of that, Ukama, we saw earlier on in the season, he was tried in that false nine position. And with the talks of Caleb leaving the Chiefs, there is that possibility of Vele going forward. Ukama would be played as a false nine while the Chiefs are looking for a striker. So Caleb is also the reason. Number four is the fact that the Chiefs will be prioritizing other positions this upcoming transfer window. I'm talking about the defensive midfield position. I'm talking about an attacking midfielder, a winger or two. Because even in the central defensive midfielders, you are looking at one or two. So the Chiefs will indeed be prioritizing other positions. So you can't just let go of a player who can actually potentially help solve some of the problems that you already have in your team. And the other one is obvious, Linda, by experience, Uguti. As much as I see with a lot of players that are there at Kaiser Chiefs right now who are young, they are playing better than the senior players, you still need experience in a sense, Yoguti. You need players who have been there and have done certain things and have been exposed to that kind of pressure so that they can guide the players and help them. Good. Okay, Ntanam, I see you are struggling with one, two, and three. I can help you because I've been through this thing and that. Because even if a player is not playing that much, they can still contribute in other ways. Because I, for one, think Umato, as much as he's sitting on the bench, I still think he has some kind of 
impact on the players positively by guiding the other players who are currently playing. So yeah, also experience. Please guys, if you're enjoying this video, please do make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel as those things help me to reach more people like you. Special member shout out today goes to Mufukengi M. You can become a member by clicking the link on the description. It's only 20 rands per month and you get these benefits on my left. Okay, moving on to Uitu Melenkune, our skipper. So, he had an interview with Robert Marawa and Mina from this, I was, I was reading from a report because I didn't have the time to, 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 to watch it because, well, I was at work. Now, what I read is that he, he says that Iroliake from the beginning of the season has been guiding players. So, the people who have been complaining about why is Kune not being played and stuff like that. Yes, he does say from what I read to Guti, he is not happy with how much game time he's getting, but Uzwane spoke to him one on one beginning of the season about this whole situation. Yoguti, now your role is to guide the others. And as I've said when I just talked about Ukama Guti, I think even with Omar Toho being kept this season and they are not being grumpy or throwing tantrums, it's because from what Kune said, I also think Uguti, now nah, yeah, he's been given that role, Yoguti, he's there to guide the other players as well so the other players are also are experienced and are still there they could just have a new role which is to guide other guys and the second thing he says he wants to play until he's 40 plus i'm like what when you've been at chiefs since the, like the longest time that i can remember what since 2004 2006 like ukune is from chiefs that's the thing that we know about ukune and him saying he wants to play until he's 40 i don't get it I really don't get it because I don't think he should be extending a contract here by a further three years so that he can play until he's 40. And he continues to say that that could be a Chiefs or that could be away from a Chiefs. And I'm like, uh -oh. what does this mean? Does this mean Ukune can actually end up leaving a Chiefs? I think not. I don't think Ukune can leave a Chiefs. And I have a few reasons for that. I think he just says that for, for a few reasons. I wrote three reasons here. Maybe it's just trying to pressurize the team into making a decision because one of the things that he said in that interview is the fact that they have not started having our negotiations, which is weird because I think it was Upobi or Kezam Taung Jr. who a few months ago said they've started negotiating a contract with Okun, but Okun is saying something else. Anyways, because right now he's talking about how he's understanding his role with Team Uguti, it's guiding the team. It's possible Luguti is just making sure Guti he's trying to put a pressure on the team so that they can start moving. Because if he still wants to stay at, at Chiefs and continue guiding the, the players, then he wants them to move faster and make a decision. Because as much as he can say, oh no, I'm focusing on finishing the season, back of his mind, he knows Luguti, he wants this thing to be done with so that by the time the transfer window comes, he's not thinking, Guti, where do I go? Where do I go? But he's assured to I'm staying at Chiefs. And the other thing is that leaving at Chiefs means a huge pay cut, right? A huge pay cut because he's getting paid a lot. Aban Bakulum about 500k or something. But maybe it doesn't matter because he's played a long time. Same thing with Upaka. Upaka is playing at Tesca Lags right now. And I think ooh, he's getting significantly lower salary than what he was getting at Chiefs. But again, I think he's playing football for the love of the game because he's made all the money that he could have made at Chiefs. And obviously, these guys are smart enough to have businesses on the side. I hope he's smart enough. Um, so I think there's also the Toguti. Living in Chiefs would just have those implications of having a huge salary cut, unless, of course, that doesn't. And the other thing is that from Chituna female, right? And if you look at Upaka, the move that he made, he just moved to Tess Galaxy, which is a team in Pumalang, which is still close enough to Gauteng. Ukune, where would he go? Because the next thing that I'm I'm looking at is KZN teams, or he will just stay with Swallows because that's the closest team that he can go to. And another reason is the reason is the fact that Ukune already was already attending AMA classes of these coaching licenses. So that tells me Ugutu Kune Vele is looking at his career after playing. So I don't think he can start attending those classes now if he's planning to finish his career. Yake. At 40 plus. So I definitely think Okun is just trying to make sure Uti management start moving because, well, they should start moving 
and not do isn't or final minute and then we end up not doing the other things that we're supposed to do but guys what do you think about chiefs extending and also what do you think about the contract situation let me know down in the comment comment section below thank you so much for watching i will see you on the next one and until next time remember equals i'll pay you more